This is my box of Brompton inner tubes. It now contains a new orange inner tube called the Tubalito. Your local bike shop should have a selection of inner tubes like this. We have the Impact, which is the current Brompton standard inner tube. We have my favourite, which is the AV4. Its sister, the SV4, which has a Presta valve. We then have the Kenda, which is the old Brompton inner tube. We have the new Continental inner tubes. We have the new track inner tubes. And now we have an orange Tubalito. The Tubalito is new and we're going to go through the features. We think it's called a Tubalito, but we haven't heard anyone else say it, so we might be wrong. One of its claims is that it's very light, so we're going to compare it to the weight of other Brompton inner tubes. Starting with a Continental Compact 16, weighing in at 105 grams. Next up, the Kenda. 98 grams. Next we have the new track, 98 grams. Then an Impac, 88 grams. The Impac is made by Schwalbe specifically for Brompton. We think it's very much like the AV4 without a rim nut. This presumably saves time for Brompton when they install them. Next we have my favourite, the AV4, weighing in at 84 grams. And now the Tubalito. 42 grams. So that's about half the weight of the AV4. So the claim that it's lighter is true. The key features of the Tubalito are it's light, strong and compact. Light, we have confirmed, is correct. The Tubalito will definitely make your wallet lighter because the cost is four to five times that of a standard Brompton inner tube. Strong we're going to trial a pair on my cameraman's Brompton to see how he gets on. To put the inner tubes under a bit of pressure, we're going to install them with Schwalbe ones, which we've heard have a tendency to puncture. Tubalito claim that the strength is provided by them using an alternative material. It's TPU rather than butyl rubber. This material has been used in automotive and pharmaceutical industries and is selected due to its strength properties. In the Tubalito's tests, using a puncture mandrel test, they've measured the pressure required to puncture the Tubalito in comparison to a standard inner tube, and it withstands twice the pressure. The valve length is longer than the other inner tubes. This is a Continental, which has a relatively short valve length, and this is the AV4. It also doesn't have a rim nut. My favourite inner tubes to install are AV4s because they seem to fit inside the tyre really well. When I was installing the Continental Compact, it was just too much inner tube. So we're going to have a look at the size of the inner tubes. The Compact 16, the Kenda, the New Track, the Impact, my favourite AV4s, and the Tubalito. It really is very compact. It is going to take up less space in my ride kit. Jubilee say it's orange because it's innovative. During the manufacture, it's claimed that the Tubalito uses less energy and produces less carbon dioxide than a standard butyl rubber inner tube. Now we're going to see how it is to install. Thank you for pointing out that I had my stand upside down last week. Now it's the right way up. It is much easier to get my Brompton into. When you install it, Tubalito recommend you only pump it up to a maximum pressure of eight PSI, then put it inside the tire. We're not going to take you through all of the steps to install the inner tube on the front and rear tires because we have recorded videos on these. We've added the links to them in the description below. I'm just going to put a little bit of air into the inner tube before I install it into the tire. Make sure that the rim tape is seated inside of the wheel 
and that you can't see any imperfections. I'm also happy that the tyre doesn't have any sharp bits. Jubilito recommend that you half inflate the tyre and then roll it along to prevent any wedging. We're not certain what wedging is, but we will half inflate it and then roll it along when the bike's out of the stand. Next Jubilito, they have really nice packaging, nice little instruction manual, and of course, your inner tube. I'm then going to feed the inner tube. When the valve goes in, it must be at 90 degrees to the rim, otherwise it puts additional pressure onto the inner tube. Then I'm going to feed the inner tube into the tyre. I'm going to push the valve up to give myself a little bit more space. And then from the valve side, I'm going to start feeding the second side of the tyre onto the wheel. I find it's easier to push the valve up to help the tyre seat at the valve side. Once that's on, it gives you a little bit more space to get the tyre onto the second side of the wheel. Now I'm going to put my wheel back in my bicycle. I'm just going to pop some air into the tyre to make sure that it's seated correctly. To make sure the tyre is seated, we're just going to roll it along the floor with weight on it. And now I'm going to pump up the tyres to the recommended pressure of these tyres. I'm then going to take them out for a quick test ride. I think I see the floor in a longer valve. It's okay when the inner tube's soft because you can push the valve in, but when it's a bit harder, it's a bit more difficult to get the pump onto the valve. To keep the dust out, I'm going to make sure I put the valve cap on. They're nice valve caps. They've really been designed to make sure you've got the ability to flatten your inner tubes or to let the air out of your inner tubes. And now I have dirty hands and two lovely orange tubulitos inside my tyres. One thing to remember is that the tubulitos have their own special patch kit. Normal patches won't stick to them. It's called a flicks kit. I'm going to update my Strava and then I'm going to get to keep a record of how far I've done on these and how many pictures I do or don't get. And a quick update on the Continentals. I've now been riding them for about three weeks. I've only done approximately 60 kilometers. I do think they roll quite nicely and I'm relatively mean to my tires because we've got a regular gravel section on our rides that I've been up and down every time I've ridden. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Talking of subscribers, we've just passed 3,000, so thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We're going to try not to bore you, so please let us know if there's any videos you'd like us to make. That brings us on to a sneaky peek, or a trailer, for our next video. And here's the trailer. The Tubalito is made from a thermoplastic of a lap. We would recommend replacing your inner tubes to a clean bicycle or wearing mechanics gloves. Therefore, it's two times the strength in their puncture resistance test, which involves using a standard test in comparison to a standard inner tube. Standard st One of the steps I think I might have missed is to roll the half inflated tyre along the ground to release any wedging. <laughs> Jubilito recommend that you should half inflate the tyre and then roll it along to remove any wedging. <laughs>